all right facebook youtube april the 20th we're out here in the buckhead um community um show you guys what we're doing we're going to be doing some screening and recoding today for mrs plier mrs plier was actually referred to us by another source um in buckhead and i came out here about two weeks ago and gave her an estimate to do her hardwood floors now what's interesting about this job guys she had one of the national brand companies come out and do her floors and when she explained to me how they did the floors basically it's how i was taught how to do them 10 years ago when you did not abrade the floors you just basically just clean the floors and you put down like almost like one of those store-bought products and what happened is it caused more issues because it's not really uh, uh adhering to the floor properly and those products are really watered down so what we're doing today guys is a screen and recoat we're going to screen down all that stuff that they put off on the floors and put down the proper protection on the floors there she is hey miss flyer honey what you doing <laughs> hey honey telling everybody about how that i'm not gonna say the company name but how they put that stuff on your floors and made it look really bad i'm so excited yes ma'am so we're gonna take scratch all this stuff off the floors and put, show them that yeah yo you're over here so you can see guys so this is a prime example look right here guys see what scoby is standing and you see where they went around the rug and you see so it's almost like a wax buildup. so when she told me what they did i immediately knew what happened and unfortunately that process is not a good process for hardwood floors so what we're going to do today guys is just the kitchen area if you look really close you see all these scuff marks all these scratches and it just has mrs um pliers floors just looking really really bad and we're going to make these floors look really really good today so Yes, ma'am. No furniture till tomorrow. Till to tomorrow, yes, ma'am. What time? Same time? All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, we are making good success uh, removing this stuff from the floor. Now, we do have these, uh, I don't know what this is. I think it's from the rug. Um, the backing of the rug is uh, stuck to the floor. Some of the adhesive from the rugs got stuck on the floor so what we're going to do is pull in one of our little uh palm sanders and just kind of do a light sanding to sand that off as you guys can see we are getting some great abrasion Good thing is we didn't have to do any type of um, chemical stripping. So they only put about maybe one coat. But again, those that stuff, I already know what they put on the floor because when I was taught to do hardwood floors about 10 years ago, um, that's one of the products they told us to use. And a lot of companies, they private label that stuff, especially the national brand companies. And then basically just like the store-bought products, it will basically make your floors work. It'll put your floors in a worse state so uh you got to be careful what people are putting on your floor especially professionals because we should know better All right, guys, give you a little education. So if you look at the floors now, as we're knocking down all that stuff that shouldn't be on the floors and look over here, you see the difference? All right. 
So Scoby, see what it's high scratching all that old contaminated products and polyurethane that was under it. Scratching all that stuff off the floor. Now what I'm doing, come over here because I'm younger than Scoby by 11 years. So I want to use my back. So we got these little areas I was telling you about. So I'm just going to use my little palm sander. And just sand those off. Stuff is really zoned up on here so all right guys so, oh yeah coming off really really good All right, guys, what we're doing is giving the floors a really good cleaning, trying to make sure we get all the adhesion um, off the floors, adhesive off the floors. We're gonna have to do some color correction because do us during the sanding and not the little bit of the stain off, but that's not a big deal. Still can see the stuff is still on the floor. So it's really a challenge getting it off, but we, I will say we've got maybe 80% of it off. So we're gonna um, uh, go ahead and remove the rest of it. And like I said, cleaning the floor is really, really good. And you can just see now, if you look close, you don't see that square anymore because they, when they went around the rug with that product. So you can see how good the floors are gonna look. We're gonna go with a satin finish. You look through here through the kitchen area, it's looking really, really good. So now these floors are prepped and ready for new coats of polyurethane. Nice, nice, nice. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, look how much better these floors look after we remove all that stuff off the floors. This pilot was just saying how much better the floors look. So right now we're doing some color correction. Now we're just doing a little tacking. But these floors now are ready for poly, and they look so much better. So what I'm doing right now is just some uh, color correction. A few areas where the stain came off just a little bit. So I'm just letting that stain soak and um yep like right there right here what was that ma'am you know, oh the rug yeah guys this is where the magic happens putting down that first coat decided to go ahead and tint the poly add a little bit more contrast to the floors As you can see how good these floors are looking so I'm going to continue to do the edging around the kitchen perimeter all right guys stay tuned
Let me pull some of that for you. All right, guys, we just got back from lunch. I think Miss Prida has already looked at it because she's already sent me messages saying how good it looks and can't wait to put us on the next door app. <laughs> you don't even understand what you're getting. Oh, wow. Do you understand? I have four neighborhoods that it's insane. It's going to be insane. Wow. Yeah. Well, well, let's go take a look. Oh, my God. But wait, but you going to go one more time? Yeah, we got to do one more coat. Okay, hold yeah, on. Yep. You might want to hold uh, him off of it. No, baby, you can't go. You can't go. No, 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 baby. Uh-uh. Is the door uh -uh. open, Miss Pryla? Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.